morning, guys. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School, back in our series on Pathfinder Outdoor Cooking. What I thought we'd do today is take a simple cook set that we have created on our website to be used by a single person on the trail. We made it fairly compact so that it would fit into a five liter dry bag, give you plenty of room to add extras, keep all of your contents dry in case you're paddling or in case you're in rainy weather, and also give you some versatility to be able to cook things that you may want to cook on the trail, including things that you may bring in with you. So I've added a couple things to my kit and I'll talk to you about what I added to the kit first. The things that I've added are a simple tin of salt, a small tin of lard. I added some instant Capico coffees, an extended handle for my folding handle bowl cup. It's basically a Sierra cup with a folding handle, but it works for a small pan. It works for a cup and it works for a bowl. Multifunctionality is what it's all about. And then I've added, a, I've added my water bottle and cup set. So these pieces basically are what come in the kit. So you get two tins to put sundries in. You can add a couple more tins if you wanted to. So what we're gonna do this morning is we're gonna cook up a couple of morning biscuits, some coffee. Stay with me guys and we'll get started. All right, now again, we're just using white oak end cuts here, split down with the Woodsman's Wedgie. And that gives us a nice bed of hot coals and they stabilize for a long time for cooking. Now, if you look at the way this kit is in this bush pot, you can see that there's the folding cup, the grill rack and two tins for food. I've got three Capico instant coffees in there and even with those out, it almost doesn't rattle. What I did do with mine, and you got to force it out of there a little bit, is I put a smaller tin inside my cup of lard, and then you've got your two tins. So the first thing we're going to start off with today is we're going to make our biscuit mix, and we're going to need our self-rising flour, our lard, and a little bit of salt to get started on that. All right, so a lot of this is not recipe per se. It's ingredients that we know have to be mixed together. And we're trying to make an amount to make a couple biscuits. So we're gonna take a couple good heaping tablespoons and maybe just a little bit more of flour. And then we're going to take just a little pinch of salt and put it in there. Just a little bit more pinch. And then we're just going to Mix that together first, really good. And now we're going to start to cut some lard in here. And so we're gonna take a little bit of this lard. It's probably not gonna take much more than that, to be honest with you. And we're gonna to start to cut that in to this flour, just like this. Go slow with the water in the beginning, just a little at a time. The dough is gonna soak up a lot of that water. Again, if you get it too wet or too dry, don't worry about adding a little bit more dry ingredient or wet ingredient. All right, once we've got that dough to the consistency we're looking for, just like that, where it looks like dough and it's not really sticking to the bottom too much, we're gonna pull our dry bag up here. This is what we're gonna use for our biscuits, basically, to get them rolled out. Put a little bit of flour on here, just like this. Remember, all this stuff is washable, guys. Not a big deal. this batter out here, this dough. Roll it in some flour here. Now, I 
I'm feeling the consistency of this with my hands as I'm patting it to make sure it's not too loose because that's going to add flour to my mixture. Now, let's take our water bottle here and we'll roll it out a little bit. I'm going to fold it over one time and roll it out two times. Make sure you're keeping your rolling pin, your makeshift rolling pin floured up. And that's the last time we're going to fold him over. That should be five or six times. Somewhere in that neighborhood's always good. Roll him around the flour just a little bit. And this time we're going to roll it out to the size we want for biscuits. The weight of this water in the water bottle makes this happen really good. Now we're going to take our lard lid here. And we're going to use this for a biscuit cutter. Twist him just a little bit. Cut him off around there. And that's going to be our first biscuit. Put that lid back down there. Do it again. We'll set that aside and maybe we'll cook it later. We made a little bit more than we needed. But we got two decent biscuits there for sure. Okay, so now we're ready to bake our biscuits. And we're gonna do that in our bush pot. And I like to fold my handles up and fold this handle back. Try to get the lock back there. It locks in place really good in three positions. That so wants to bounce up to the top. But I can't quite get it back to that back lock, but it's pretty close now, all right? That's what we're gonna put in the fire. And then we're gonna take this rack, put it right here, put our biscuits right on that rack. Get these biscuits floured up good on the tops and bottoms before you put them on this rack. Just like that. And then slide the rack in here. Now, It'll center itself in the pot and now we'll get it positioned in the fire. Okay, we're gonna be using this a lot like a reflector oven. So we're gonna put a couple of green rounds up here, just like this. And I'm gonna pull a couple coals in between those rounds and leave the majority of the coals out here. And then I'm gonna set this right down in those two rounds, just like that. Snug those up to make sure we're good. Now, we just wait. Now, somewhere during this process, you're gonna to wanna to get some coffee water on, add a little bit of wood, and then you're going to want to take this rack out and turn it 90 and then 180. To give yourself good even cooking and keep an eye on your coals down here. Make sure you still got a little bit of heat down here, but you're relying on a lot of heat in the front for this to be a reflector oven. Now one thing I'll do constantly during the process is I'll put my hand over this thing and see how hot it is. If I can only hold my hand over that thing for a few seconds, it's hot enough. You see, I got some flame right there at the front of that bush pot. I'm gonna pull that back a little bit because I don't want that. So I'm gonna move that flame out of there and get rid of that. All right, so you can see here, mostly what I've got there is smoldering coals. I don't have open flame, and when I do, I get rid of it. Flame is the enemy of this stuff when you're trying to bake biscuits and things like that. You just want the heat and a lot of it. I'm gonna show you a little tip or trick with this folding handled Sierra cup. We call it a folding handled cup, but it's basically a Sierra cup, but it can also be used for a saucepan, which is what we're gonna use it for today. I've cut a stick here, and this one just happens to have an angle on it, but it could be a long straight stick. And because you have a recess here and you have a tab here you can pull up on that tab and put a flat on this stick pull up on that tab a little bit and force that flat over the top and you have an extended handle and because i've got this drop down on here i've got something i can set right in the bed of coals and easily pull it off the coals without touching the hot pan itself but i can also work in the pan now what we're going to do here is we're going to take a bit of lard 
and we're going to melt it into this pan. We don't need a ton for this. We only got two biscuits. But we'll get that over the fire, get that melting down while our biscuits are finishing up. All right, so there's our biscuits. Look at that. Perfect, perfect biscuit. Brown. Nice. Okay. Now these biscuits feel perfect to me, but I'm going to shove a stick in here, pull it out, and see if it comes out wet or dry. If it comes out dry, our biscuits are done. All right, we've got our lard melted down over the heat here. Now, we're going to add some brown sugar. Okay guys, so here's a biscuit all done up right. Look at that dude, absolutely perfect. Now, this recipe here is a little different than Matt Mercer's because Matt used butter and we used lard. So it's a different reaction. Basically we've candied this brown sugar and that's fine too. We're just gonna put some on our biscuit here Eat him like a sandwich. It's going to be awesome. All right. Get stuff out of the way here. And we'll give her the old taste test. I love that Capico coffee. Oh, man. Whew. I see you, on. So, the cool thing about that is it allows you to put that brown sugar topping basically on your biscuit and it coagulates it so it's not just a bunch of brown sugar falling off when you take a bite. It's more like a spread. <laughs> man, oh man, is that good. Holy cow. I made two and I could eat five. Zion, you're not getting any of this. Come on now. Mm, mm, mm. All right, go no. off my table. Terrible manners. Terrible, terrible. That's good. Woo. Okay, guys, I appreciate you joining me out here today for this video on how to make biscuits and how to make a spread with the top of those biscuits using brown sugar and lard. Again, we use this new cook set that we put together in this dry bag. We're gonna call this the open water essentials kit, basically because it's in a dry bag, but as you can see, it would work perfect on the trail or in camp as well. It's got everything in it, save a skillet, that you would need to cook just about anything you wanna cook. The MSRP of this individual pieces would be about 85.50, I believe, somewhere in that neighborhood. And I think we're gonna put it on our website as this video releases for 59.95. So if you're curious about where to get this stuff, again, I'll always put links direct to where you can get this stuff on my videos, as well as things that didn't come from SRO that may have came from Amazon or some other website. I'll put those links on here as well. Hey, Zon. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video, me and probably Zon, in our camp cooking series here at the Pathfinder School as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.